everyone, my name is Aditi Singh Sharma. You're watching me on Bollywood Hangama. Uh, I've been very fortunate because uh, both the songs came at the span of one week. Uh, it was a it was a big surprise and a lot of the media has been saying which I didn't realize that December seems to be very lucky for me <laughs> because last year I ended with Dhoom in December. You know when when the year is ending you always feel like you have one song, two songs and for me it was great because I had O4 before this uh, this year, Blame the Night. Uh, they both were very well received by the you know by the supporters, by the music lovers and uh, O4 did exceptionally well at a few award ceremonies and you know the, the countdowns and it was on number one for seven to eight weeks and then in December within a span of one week Suraj Duba Hai and uh, Touch My Body came and uh, we went to the music launch and Bipasha made a comment there saying that it sounds really good and so many things happened you know so the December was really literally like music Santa Claus came uh, into my life. <laughs> खुद के भी सुन ले कभी कुछ बात गलत भी हो जाए कुछ तेरे ये दिल भी खो जाए बेफिकर धड़कने इस तरह से चले शोर गूंजे यहाँ से वहाँ सूरज टूबा है यारों दो घुट नशे के मारो गम तुम बुला लो सारे संसार के the music session was actually amazing. Um, I was on tour with Arijit Singh last year. We went to US, Canada and UK and I absolutely love him. I love him uh, as, a, as a person, as a singer and he's also recorded me uh, when I sang Rapta and Blame the Night. So I always look forward to working with him and uh, when I got the call for the song, uh, he had already recorded. So Amal had sent me the track with Arijit's voice on it already. And I heard the song and I immediately called Amal at some 3 in the morning and I said, this is a smash hit. And he said, uh, yeah, you know, are you sure? I said, dude, this is like, I, because this is the kind of music I listen to. You know, we are all very new age singers. I, I love dubstep, I love EDM. And I was like, you, you've created something amazing with, you know, it's got amazing music and it's also got melody. It's not just like, you know, kuch which is only music driven. And it's, you just, you know, it's got melody, it's got the song, it's got the soft parts. Got the, I was literally blown away and you guys won't believe it when he sent me that song with just Sarajit's voice I myself was listening to it some 5-10 times and by the time I went into the studio we just got right in the song and it was great working with him Amal dubbed me, Arman also dubbed me they're both so talented and uh, it's so much fun working with them uh, you know they have their ideas and they both sing also so that whole thing really helps and we try different things, different tones and uh, yeah, I, I guess it worked. <laughs> I think uh, I'm honestly very blessed to be a part of the music scenario currently uh, because if you go back to 10, 15 years ago, the music scenario was totally different. And I love our seniors, they're, they're just amazing and they've done some amazing work. But right now I feel it's a time in the industry where a lot of stuff is happening. Like if you pick up any album, if you take two states, I mean, I love that album myself, not because I've sung in it, but they've delivered five totally different songs, you know, and it's so interesting. I, I love that Lochai Ulfat, that piece, you know, Ofo has got that spunk in it, Mast Magan is there, any album, I mean, I'm just naming one, but if you if you even look at Roy, it's got, you know, it's got Chittiya Kalaya, it's got this, it's got Ankit's song, again, you have three different flavors. Um, you have um, uh, Ek Villain in that also, you know, Mithun, this good. it's just, I can keep going on, with these, these albums are just coming to my head. Um, it's a great time for music, for experimentation. In fact, even what Sneha did uh, with the uh, Sonam's film, uh, I think Dolly Ki Dolly. Yeah, that's got some really interesting songs in it. It's really these songs. It's just lots is happening, and I feel right now in the music industries and also the people who are listening to the music, there's no boundaries. You give them something good, you give them something slow, they listen to it. Arijit's songs, man. I, I every time I'm in Bombay and if Arijit is performing, I make sure I go to his concert because. All the songs that he sings, you know, Hamti Sharma Ki Dolaniya, that song that he sung, it's, it's you know, it's amazing. Metenu Samjhava Ki and his other songs also, it's, it's a lot of stuff. Um, in terms of my contemporary singers, I keep discussing with these guys, uh, with my managers also all the time, that everybody is so good, they sing so well, they present themselves really well. And the great thing is that every you interview so many people, everybody has a style of their own. Yep. And that's the best part of it. Because then people always ask me, you know, oh, you don't have any rivalry with this. I was like, no, I just had dinner with them last night. I'm meeting them tomorrow for a movie because uh, we are all friends. We are all great contemporaries. We are respect for each other. Everybody messages each other, you know, great song, this, that. 
बिकॉज आई नो दैट वॉट आई कैन सिंग आई नो आई कैन सिंग इट सो इफ यू टेल मी दैट आपको लगता है दैट योर सॉन्ग विल बी टेकन बाई सम लाइक दैट एवरीबडी हैज ग्रेट स्टाइल ग्रेट स्टेज प्रेजेंस एवरीबडी इज अ ग्रेट परफॉर्मर सो मेनी शोज आर हैपनिंग कोलेबोरेशन आर हैपनिंग इट्स इट्स अ ग्रेट टाइम टू बी हियर आई थिंक इट्स हेल्दी बिकॉज दीज आर द सेम पीपल आई कुक फॉर और आई गो आउट विद एंड आई लव देयर सॉन्ग्स आई एक्चुअली डू लाइक आई रिमेम्बर वन बैंग बैंग केम आउट द टाइटल ट्रैक बेनी एंड नीति आई आई टेक्सटेड बेनी एंड नीति एंड विशाल एंड शेखर आई लव द सॉन्ग Uh, you know, so why not? If they've sung it really well, why should I not text them and say it's great? It's the same thing. If you would like my song, you're telling me you like it. For me, it's the same. I can do that for you. All-time favorite would be really difficult. But even when people ask me what my own favorite song is or what my favorite song with other people is, it's really difficult because my playlist is just full of all my contemporaries, my friends. Uh, you know, there's a Bang Bang, there's a, 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 a Arijit's uh, uh, this song. I think I'm not sure about Muskurani ki wajah. You know, it's just so many songs. Suraj Duba hai. Two states. That entire album, I keep listening to it again and again. Uh, Meet Brothers music, Sachin Jigar. I just went saw their concert day for yesterday. It's so cool because when I went on their concert, I went to watch. I sat there and I realized I was singing every song from the first song to the last song. I knew everything, and it, I told them also. It's not that I'm saying I love you know I know this or that. You realize how much you love the music when the people sing it along with you. you know and even to, when at our concerts we start singing and if someone is singing suraj dubai from top to the end means they love it so you know that kind of music is coming these days where everybody knows all the songs the audience is singing along it's a huge party right now so i have been so fortunate that in my second year of coming into the industry i had 12 releases that year and i worked with nine or 10 different music directors it was it was like a blessing because these days what happens is a lot of singers i realized they end up singing one song from music director and somehow that team gets repeated same singer same lyricist same music director the next song two three songs so what happens is a lot of singers they end up having sung for the same team maybe five songs in my case i have been very lucky i have about 30 songs right now and i've worked with almost everybody in the industry i'm not saying the songs are hit or they're flop i'm talking about working with somebody and it feels amazing because i've worked with the himesh reshami i've worked with raghu dikshit sel vishal shekhar salim suleiman ram sampath amal now you know you you name it and it just feels great uh, i have four or five people left whom i have not had the uh, opportunity to work with uh, ar rahman um, meet brothers sachin jigar uh, mithun sajid wajid and i think that's about it in the the people who are existing uh, up until now and of course so many new people are coming uh, all of them are left <laughs> I really really want to do that. I've already spoken to a few of my friends. My problem is I'm very particular. I'm really really particular. So until and until I feel that it's ready to put it out there, I won't do it. It could be the best song, the best this. And honestly telling you guys, I suck at sound song writing. It's really bad. So sometimes I'll come up um, Amitabh Bhattacharya is a very close friend. So sometimes I'll be like, "Yes, ye gana to super hit hai." And I'll play to him and he'll be like, what is this lyrics what have you done you know so i'm not really good at lyric writing so again even for for if i do a single i'll be needing help from my friends and there's so many of them uh, they're all very busy <laughs> and uh, yeah but some something soon definitely my fans keep asking to put up a unplugged version of rapta do this do that i did that last year then you know uh, i performed rapta at ifa so whenever you do a, a different kind of a show even when dhoom last year had come i performed at all the all the award ceremonies So we try, you know, the dance step should be different, the music should be different. We keep trying, but you gotta keep trying until it happens. I think there is because um, I look at albums. Universal is coming out with a lot of albums. Um, Ish Bekter just came out with a single. With T Series has put it out there. Arman has uh, an album that's come. There's a lot of people. Uh, I think Akriti has done something. Uh, Raghu has done something. Like in general, I'm saying. I feel the thing is that um, all of us realize, or I don't know if everybody has realized. I did because when I went to tour last year, I, I went to IFA again to US. Yeah. You feel the power of Bollywood, and I tell this to everybody, all the Bollywood haters out there. I come from a rock circuit background. Whatever people may say, whatever you say, whatever you think, there is a specific fact. Our country is the biggest at Bollywood. You go to any country, you go to any place, everybody knows the songs, everybody knows the singers, they know the face. You take a Sonu Nigam to an airport abroad, there'll be chaos. that's just a fact that there is uh the problem with um, private albums i feel is a uh, i think that that initiative from everybody in general is not coming that much uh that could be one because everybody knows bollywood works we have our film songs coming this is happening two maybe people are short on time also i mean I, i'm just generally saying a uh, three maybe we're all scared that if we put it out there we put so much an effort what will happen like no matter what kind of a single i put out 
I somehow feel like it will never get a kind of response that Suraj Dubai got or Dhoom Machale got. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I'm just saying. So I feel somewhere down the line maybe that fear kind of holds you back. But on the other hand, you have a lot of people. I just named like four or five people and they have really good music. Uh, yeah, so I feel like it's a collective effort. You got to keep working, keep making your brand and keep putting stuff out there. And then your fan following eventually listens. Like now if Sonu puts something out there or Sunidhi puts something, I, I listen to it. But I don't know if someone new comes up and you tell me that Acha ye gana sun lo, I'll be like, ah, okay, great song. But it might not get those many views. Yeah. So then your song kind of gets like, it's a great song, it's on YouTube, but it's got only 10,000 views. On the other hand, you have a great producer, it's a good song, it's got 1 million views. So it's a huge ratio difference. Wow. I want to work with everybody. <laughs> That's my deal. I really want to work with everybody because I realized I came here alone. I've made everything on my own. I had no connections here, no friends, no people that I knew or you know, because that one knows me, he gave me a song or that one was fond of me, nothing like that. It's purely based on work. I realized because you know, these are like you're doing an interview right now. After you finish, he might tell you, oh, you know, you were like this and you'll be like, Achha, really? You don't know it until someone else tells you that. Uh, when I started singing and when I was 20 or 25 songs down, people started saying, you sound so different in all the songs. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, I sound different in Rapta, oh, I sound different in Ofo, different in Dhoom, different switch. okay, that's good. I realized that that comes with the team you're working with. Because if it's a different music director, the flavor of the song is different. If my co-singer is different, that flavor is different. You know, if I've sung with Benny, it sounds different. If I've sung with Arijit, it sounds different. So I realize, and that's why I've almost worked with everybody. I want to work with everyone because then the product will be different from the other. So that's my thing. And, and I don't really think, you know, because I keep getting tweets every day. Please work with this one. Please work with that one. I tell them it's not in my hands. But when it comes to me, I can make sure that I deliver uh, on those terms. Uh, I want to do everything. I want to do a single. Uh, I want to go cook for everybody. <laughs> That's been a very big thing. Everybody's like, you know, cook, 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 open a, uh, open a cafe, open this, open that. There's a lot of things that you want to do, but I realize that uh, a lot of things you love to do, but it takes time. It's not just tomorrow I get up and say, okay, I'll open a kitchen over here. It, it's very time consuming. Uh, I love to do a lot of things, but uh, like I said, you know, time permitting and, and this, that. So maybe slowly something. Uh, Twitter, uh, the fans, they already have a name decided for my cafe, apparently. So <laughs> <laughs> that's one problem less for us, I guess. Chu man tar ho, aja chal gum ho jahe. Chu man tar ho, khud se hi khud kho jahe, dhoonde jaha. हम भी न जाने हम है कहा छूले जमी से वो आसमा चल ओ रे ओ रे ओ रे ओ रे चल ओ रे ओ रे ओ ओ ओ छू मंत्र Hi, this is Faridun Shahryar. For the most interesting celebrity interviews, do subscribe to Bollywood Hangama. Keep on watching.